Well, I've got a really exciting engine to show you today. Now this is a spark ignition engine from the late 1940s and it's a super cyclone. And it's a real beast of an engine. It's uh, 0.604 cubic inches, which kind of equates to around 10 cc. So it's a really good size. And I believe this engine came out in uh, sort of late 1946 and was around just a few years, perhaps till about 1950, maybe slightly before or slightly after, I'm not totally sure. And these are great running engines, I believe, and it should have lots of power. It's a GR designation, so it would be GR and then the serial number. And if we look carefully inside the amber fuel tank, we can just see the serial number and the GR stamped on the back plate. It's lovely, this uh, original amber fuel tank. Really great looking engines. And we can take a closer look at that now. Well, as you can see, this is in lovely condition. I'm really pleased with it. And we can see Super Cyclone Engines, Glendale, California, made in the USA. And if we turn this over, Again, we can see on the flange here, made in the USA. And these are absolutely lovely, sturdy engines and a real powerhouse, I'm, I'm sure. We've got a, a Champion V spark plug in the top there. If I turn that round, we can see the V. And that's still working in good condition. So hopefully we'll run it on that without any problems. Got an original, what looks like an original fuel tank anyway. And I don't think we can see, I don't know, but there's a, a GR and a serial number on, on the back plate in there. We've got, uh, if we look at the front, we've got the timer and of course the needle valve. But I am really excited to get this running. Well, there's only one thing left to do now and you know what that is? We've got to get it in the test stand and see how this runs. Right, well, we've got this lovely old engine clamped in the test stand now, and I've got this Cavan 14x6 wooden prop on it, which should be just right, hopefully. So anyway, let's get this thing fired up. I'm dead excited to see how it runs.
<laughs> well, that ran absolutely beautifully. I am really pleased with its performance. I mean, that, that top speed, I think it was about six and a half, seven thousand maybe uh, RPM, which was lovely and smooth and uh, retarding the ignition right back and we got that lovely kind of tick over really at, uh, at just under 3000 RPM. I think I retarded it just a little bit too much at the end because it did, it did die on me. But um, I am really pleased with how this ran on this uh, 14x6 prop. What a lovely engine. And we're talking about an engine that's what, uh, 70 years old? Amazing absolutely amazing or 75 years old anyway i hope you enjoyed watching that as much as i enjoyed running it what a lovely engine